Hey guys, this is Kathy. Welcome back to my channel, Kathy's Favorite Things. You guys, I um, I don't know how bright it looks here, um, but I hope you can see well. I was making some cards and I was gonna make them um, shaker cards. And you have already seen videos of this type of cards in a shaker Sunday. But I'm going to show you in this video how I put them together. And so I have a piece of tool here and it's pink. I cut it from this here. And you can't really see the pink because, you know, I have a pink cutting board and everything. But it is pink tool and it's from this roll here, which was from Joanne's. And I already cut some other pieces of tool from this here. And this is from Hobby Lobby, I think. And it's like a Tiffany blue, a light Tiffany blue color. So um, that's the other one here, see? So these are super simple to make. It's just a card base that I have from Hobby Lobby. I already stamped the back. You know, if you have a stamp, I usually like to stamp it before I do anything else and let it dry. And then... You know, I did this a few days ago, I mean, a long time ago, <laughs> and I have them already because one day I was trying to, I made a card and after I made it, you know, it's all kind of wonky because you put stuff on it. So I tried to stamp it afterwards and it wasn't a nice and crisp stamp. So I decided to do it ahead of time and I did it on all of them. <laughs> So um, I already cut my piece of paper here and I put the double-sided tape, which, you know, you can get from Dollar Tree and it's this kind here. And I made some other video where I did also make some shakers using the inside of this thing, the plastic part, the ring. You know, I like trying to reduce waste and reuse the things to create some other projects. And it also, I also like giving people ideas of, you know, things they can use in case they don't have all the um, materials to craft. But if you want to craft, you can use whatever you have and try to make things work, you know. So I cut this paper and this is one of the uh, papers that I got from, I think it was Chaos Craft from AliExpress. And I have different packs that I got. I wasn't too crazy about the paper because it was kind of dark. Um, but I'm going to use it. I said that I was going to use it to make cards with it. So that's what we are going to be using today. I think it's um, printed. Like a digital collection that they printed. Because some of them, they don't look so so good you know i don't know i don't usually buy digital collections because i don't have a good printer either to be printing them and i don't want them looking you know not right so this here has already three pieces three big pieces of the double-sided tape so i'm gonna peel this um i'm gonna go get my tweezers because I have tweezers for this. Hold on. Okay. I got my tweezers, you guys. Here. So, this. You can use this to remove this. You can just use your nails if you want. But, you know, sometimes my nails don't work. So. I'm gonna use this. So I removed it. You can see the tape right there. Using the double-sided tape to adhere a, a piece of paper, especially for a card, is the easiest way. I, I think because if you put glue, it gets wet and it gets kind of wonky. Um, this is the hardest part for me to try to make it centered. I'm horrible at this. So see, it's not centered. And especially when you're making a video, <laughs> that 
things don't work the same way. See, it kind of, but it's okay. We're just going to leave it. It's a handmade car, so it doesn't have to be perfect. Of course, I always strive to be perfect, but when you are making a video and you have to move things away from you and you can't really see very well uh, because you have your tripod, <laughs> it's difficult. So we just try to do the best we can. And I'm going to use some foam tape for this, you guys. And I have some foam tape here. And you can find this tape at any craft store. You can find it at Dollar Tree. And I'm going to use this one that is not so thick because mm, I even have a thinner one, maybe the thinnest one, because um, afterwards, since we're going to do the tool thingy, I don't want to cover too much of the paper. So you can choose uh, the width of the foam tape that you want. Okay, so we're going to use this one that is not so big. This is, and we're going to put it all around our card. Okay, so just like so. I'm going to place it there. And we're going to cut it. I have a few cards that I want to make, but I think we might just make one together. Okay. I don't want to keep you here forever, so you're just going to keep doing the same and putting this all around your card, okay? Like so, and just cut it. Grab more. Put it there. And this foam tape is not too thick. So when you put your sequins or whatever you want to put in there, make sure you put things that are not so um, big, you know, or it's not going to shake. So, we just need to put some more at the top here. Dollar Tree, at this time of the year, they sell in their craft aisle. I've seen it where the Christmas stuff is. Those um, ornament filler, I think they call it. And they have this um, kind of like round sequins and in different colors, but they're flat. And they come in a pack of like three different things. And they even, some of them come with like foam stickers. And those can definitely work for your shaker car. So now you have the foam. See how I put the foam tape all around it? Okay, now we have this little hole in the center here with um, the foam tape all around it. So now we can put some goodies in here. And I have some sequins here that we can use. But I also have some other little things like I have some of this flat jemmies here. So we can put some of this maybe in here. Uh, let's add some pink ones. Some of these pink ones because I want it to have a little bit of shine because the color on the background is kind of dark. So I'm going to put a lot of that in there just to give it some shine. And it's pink. So now I'm going to put 
some of this. These are sequins. Um, so, but I'm going to put the little ones from here. I'm going to get some little ones. And these are like pastel colors. I don't want to use the big ones because they're going to they're going to get stuck in there. So let's just take the big ones out. And just use the little ones. Take the big ones out. Uh, no, not the purple one. Okay, let's see. I don't want to use the big ones. I just want little ones. Okay. Okay, that star is flat. Maybe we can use that. Okay. So now, see, I put a few things in there. Most of them are little ones and flat ones. Like the star, it has some gold and pink. And I think that works. See, it even has some seed beads in there. Can you see? Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the tape. Okay, let's put that on there. I'm going to remove with my tweezers. You can use just your fingers. We're going to remove the tape from the foam, foam tape. And what I usually like to do is I put some fabric tack over my foam tape for extra adhesion, you guys, because we don't want our tool to fall off. You can definitely also use acetate if you want, but I'm trying to give you different ideas you know, so that's why I'm using tool. If you have, um, if you have some different kind of papers that you want to use, you can use that. And if you don't have acetate, you can use any plastic. I know people, some people use like bags from like the sticker packs or whatever, you know, you can try to use anything you have just to see if it works. And if it doesn't, then, you know, that's okay. You can try again another day. So I'm going to put some of my fabric tag over my foam here. Just a little bit. Just to make sure that my... Um, tool doesn't fall off just a little bit you guys and this glue is really really good I like using fabric tag when I'm using any kind of uh, fabric or trim or anything like that this is too much Okay, now I have my pink tool over here. My finger is kind of stuck in the corner right there. There we go. Okay, and I have my piece of pink tool here that I'm just going to lay over this like so. You know, just 
just like that. Now, I want to put some trim over it, okay, just to cover the foam. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get this pink trim that I have here. This pink trim. And I'm just going to put it over and since i put enough uh fabric tag i don't need to put any more and it's going to attach so we're gonna move it i have to fold it in the corner here just to turn it if you don't want to cut it I don't want to cut it, so I just fold it in there. And then you can put something over in the corners. You know, you can put a snowflake or whatever, a sequin, just to cover that. So we're going to just fold it right there a little bit and just... Press on your trim a little bit so it adheres to the fabric tag. And this is just a super simple card, you guys. But sometimes, you know, we want to send just a quick hello or... You know, it's not a very elaborate card, but you can elaborate. You can put more stuff over it. You know, that can be your base. And on top of that, you can put your sentiment, your hello, or your Merry Christmas, or Happy Birthday, or anything you want. You know, or just leave it like this. And... We are all set. Now we're going to cut the extra trim here. And I have excess tool because when I cut it, I didn't cut it, you know, too perfectly because I want to have some wiggle room. And you can see the sequence right there. See, they move, they have a space we use flat things and it does shake so now we can wait till this dries or we can just trim it right now you can go ahead and cut your leftover tool very carefully not to cut your cardstock You know, just cut your leftover tool like so. And if you like to add, you know, little bows or stuff like that, you can definitely do that. You can add bows to the corners or whatever. Or like I said, you can even add, you know, a sequin here in the corners if you want. Like so, you know, it would be pretty too. Anything, anything you want. So in this case, you know, I could make a bow with this if I want it. And add a little bow. And I have some already made bows also in my stash, which I can use. But since I use this trim, I can make one with the same and just glue it at the top you know you can glue it here in the corner if you want you know glue a bow or whatever okay now which way does this open oh this way okay there we go. 
So this is your base card, you guys. And see how easy it was to make? I don't know if you want to make another one. You already got the idea. So maybe we can just leave it at this. And I hope this gives you, you know, um, an idea on how to make a different kind of card. And this is super easy, like I said, you know, and you just need your card stock, a piece of tool or acetate or even, you know, a plastic bag that you want to reuse, anything. And try to make your shaker card. This is super, super easy, you guys. And you can find all the things you need at Dollar Tree. You don't have to go spend a lot of money. And you can just, you know, make some handmade cars for your family members or your friends or your kids teachers or whatever you know so yeah you guys thanks a lot for watching i hope you're having a wonderful day and have fun bye guys love you